Imagine if you could save a bunch of time managing your YouTube channel and optimizing your videos. Would you be interested? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use vidIQ to grow your YouTube channel so you can get more views and subscribers. It will help you with keyword research, track the trends in your niche, and identify the places where you need to improve your channel. It can be a real time saver. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I tell you which feature I love and use the most. My name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. What is vidIQ? vidIQ is a free Chrome extension that enables you to get more views in less time. It helps to maximize your organic reach in YouTube search and related videos. It helps build brand awareness by attracting a loyal following of fans. You also gain unparalleled insights from the metrics they provide. It's also recommended by Mark Cuban who says vidIQ is an awesome suite of services I recommend all of my companies use for YouTube. Before I show you the features, you first need to sign up for vidIQ. I'll place a link in the description below this video. Secondly, you need to install the Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store. Look for vidIQ Vision for YouTube and install the extension. I'll also include a link to the Chrome Web Store in the description below this video. Let me walk you through the top features of vidIQ so you can get more views and subscribers to your channel and videos. When you first log into your free vidIQ account, you'll see these icons at the top. Analytics, videos, descriptions, subscribers, SEO, competitors, and you can also upgrade. Analytics gives you the demographics of your audience, charts showing you the views, YouTube search views, suggested views, likes, dislikes, your top videos, top YouTube searches, overview, trends. If I click on SEO, I can use the keyword research feature. So if I click on how to train your puppy not to bite, click search, it'll show me the related keywords, rated score, search volume, search score, competition score, overall score, and number of words. If I want to see more keywords, I'll have to upgrade to the pro version. Channel homepage. If I get on my YouTube channel homepage and hover over the graph, it'll show me the metrics for my channel. On the left here, I've also got four different icons from vidIQ. I've got competitors, trend alerts, most viewed, and channel audit. Competitors, I can compare my channel with another channel. Trend alerts, I can track trending videos from my competitors and track gaming videos. So if I click on create your first alert, then I've got the alert name, the keywords, the categories, the views per hour threshold, and email frequency. And I've got the most viewed videos. These are the most viewed videos on YouTube. For example, Apple's uh, Big News in 108 seconds. It's got 21 million views. It's getting 320.8 thousand views per hour. Click on Channel Audit. It shows the views per month, subscribers gain, and watch time. So definitely got to do better on that. The time frame is 30 days, but I got to upgrade if I want to see 60 or 90 days. Content to double down on, views per hour, engagement rate, views, subscribers gained. They got total watch time, average watch time, top retention videos, top playlists top suggested videos. And I got my top search terms and content that could use some work. So these videos need some work to perform better. And I've got average metrics over the last 30 days and then items to approve upon. Also on your channel homepage, you've got a couple of extra tabs, trending and stats. So if I click on trending, these are videos with the highest velocity views per hour. So for instance, this one's got 11.2 views per hour. This is a recent video, it's got 9.7 views per hour. This one's got 7.5 views per hour and 3.5 views per hour. I can also get the top keywords if I upgrade to the pro version of vidIQ. If I click on stats, I can see my subscriber rank, view rank, category, channel country, and Twitter followers. Then I've got the number of views for last month, subscribers, and videos published. If I click on the videos tab, it'll show me the like to dislike ratio for my videos. Also under all videos, you can click on the vidIQ dropdown you can do CSV export, you know, export up 10 videos, mass edit videos, mass edit cards and end screens, description campaigns. You can create a description campaign to add special campaign text to your video's descriptions. If you click on the drop down next to an individual video, you can copy the cards, copy the end screen, advanced embed, so you can uncheck show player controls, you can uncheck show later videos, uncheck show video info. So when you embed this code on your web page, Related videos won't show up at the end of the video. Send to Facebook and thumbnail editor. Manage comments. 
if I click on community, I've also got a vidIQ icon here which says all comment threads choose filter. So I can filter my comments according to has replied, doesn't have replied, I've replied to, I haven't yet replied to, contains questions, profanity, etc. I can also create a comment template by clicking on drop down here. It says no comment template saved, add one to get started. So I click new. Then I can add a template name, template text to create a comment template that I can use to reply to all my comments. Let's take a look at a video edit page. It gives me the tag rankings, what this video ranks for in YouTube search when searching for this keyword. Down the bottom here, I've got templates. So I've got tag templates, create a new template to add tags. I can click on the keyword inspector and enter a keyword that I can use in my tags. I've got click through rate, CTR, YouTube, CTR. I can add those to my tags. It'll give me the vidIQ search volume score, the vidIQ competition score, and overall. So overall is pretty good. If I want to translate my tags and click on translate, I'll have to use the pro version to translate my tags. Over here, I've got the vidIQ SEO score and a checklist. I've got all the boxes checked, but I haven't uh, shared on Facebook. My vidIQ score is 64 out of 100. I've got eight out of nine on the checklist, four out of five on tags. I can probably add more tags because I've got one out of five. Keywords in the title, I've got five out of five. Keywords in the description, I've got five out of five. Triple keywords, five out of five. So far the performance is 20.9 out of 50. Rank tags, I got four out of five. 0.2 out of five for high volume rank tags. So this can come in quite handy if I wanted to boost my actual score and my performance score for this video. So what's the top feature that I like the best? I like the channel audit feature the best because it gives you a quick overview of how your channel is doing. How many views, subscribers, and watch time I've gained in the last 30 days. The content I need to double down on. The top search terms of my channel content that could use some work, average metrics over the last 30 days, items I need to improve upon, and a checklist. Let me know in the comments below which feature you like the best. Keep in mind that if you upgrade to the pro version, you can access a lot more features. Make sure you click the link below to get your copy of vidIQ. If you've already installed and are using TubeBuddy, you can use vidIQ as well. They work well together and you'll be able to get even more statistics. If you need help growing your YouTube channel, click the subscribe button below and check out the related videos over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.